Good morning, New York. We're looking for a nice end to the middle of the week, but by the end of the week, temperatures are going to return a little bit more towards the wintry side, maybe get a little more snow in there. This morning in Manhattan, looking at 34 degrees, winds coming out of the southwest about three miles an hour. Eh, the wind chill, not that bad because we have the wind at three miles an hour. However, the fog is a big problem this morning. Visibility issues across much of the metro area and on Long Island. Temperatures in the upper to mid 30s throughout the New York metro area. Down through Nassau and Suffolk County, temperatures in the mid 30s were about freezing in Patchogue to 33 in Stony Brook. Now towards Calverton on the uh, expressway, about 32 degrees this morning. So definitely some freezing temperatures out there. And like I said, the fog big issue across the entire eastern seaboard from Connecticut, New London, all the way down through the outer banks of North Carolina, even to South Carolina, some pretty dense fog along the I-95 corridor. So if you're traveling along I-95 today, that's going to be an issue. We're watching for later on this week is that clipper to come through. That's going to be bringing us that little bit of wintry precipitation. That's this guy right here on our enhanced satellite. You see that coming out of Canada right now. That is going to be trailing on the backside of this clipper that's going through the Great Lakes region now. Later on in the week, we'll see a little bit of some precip from that. And we'll get some rain coming through as the jet stream kind of dives down to the south, bringing that cooler air. And these areas of low pressure, these clipper systems are going to travel along this and end up in New York by the end of the week and into the weekend. That's where we're going to get that wintry precipitation from. Once that clipper tags into the Gulf of Mexico and brings a little moisture up that belt there along where the frontal boundary goes, that's where we're going to see the increase in moisture. So by the end of the week, we're looking through Friday into Saturday. The cold air is on the backside of this. Lots of moisture involved with this area of low pressure. That's where we're going to get some of that snowfall to come from. Not a whole lot of snowfall, but by uh, Friday, we'll be looking at some light snow from upstate New York through western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, then through State College as we go into Saturday. Manhattan getting a little bit of some light snow through Saturday. But as we get towards Sunday, a lot of that drops off. Notice our temperatures during the daytime still above freezing, but that doesn't mean we still won't see a few flakes as we go into the early part of the weekend.